Hey everyone, welcome to Hockey Skate Down. Before we get into the video, I just want to say thank you to all my subscribers. If you want to join our hockey team, it's free. Click subscribe with the notification bell to all. Thank you all so much, and let's get started. Devils fans, how do you feel like the Devils did this trade deadline? So I want to talk about that in this video, talk about what we gave up overall, what we got overall, and I wanted to go in depth and talk about uh, Jonas uh, Siegenthaler. I know a lot of uh, guys and girls don't know about his uh, his game. You know, I know of him. I don't know how he plays. I've really never zeroed in on his playing style. I never knew the Devils were looking at him. So, um, you know, I wanted to do a little digging and see what we can expect from this defenseman we just picked up. So definitely stay with me throughout this video. A lot of informative stuff I want to talk about with uh, Siegenthaler later. So the Devils got in this, tra this trade deadline overall. We got A.J. Greer, Mason Yopes, a 2021 first round pick, a 2022 conditional fourth round pick. Jonas Siegenthaler, and a conditional fourth round pick in the 2022 draft. Uh, we, we got this all for Travis Zajac, Kyle Palmieri, a conditional third round pick in the 2021 draft, and Dmitry Kulikov. And we also lost Vatnin and Gusev. Um, you know, Sammy Vatnin we lost um, when we put him on waivers. The Dallas Stars picked him up. So best of luck to Sammy Vatnin playing with the Dallas Stars. And Nikita Gusev, he was placed on waivers, and the next day, um, the Devils um, terminated his contract, and um, you know he signed with the Florida Panthers for a one-year, one million dollar contract. So, best of luck to Goose as well. Uh, hopefully, they both do well, and they possibly, um, you know, go on a long run in the playoffs. You know, the, uh, Sammy Vatnin, um, I'm, I was glad when we brought him back this year. I was hoping for the best with him, and kind of expecting this to happen, but possibly picking up something in return for him. Uh, in case we didn't make the playoffs this year. And Gusev, you know, I was kind of hoping to see he would be have a better year than he did this year. Um, you know, I was looking forward to him a lot playing this year after the strong play that he had late last year. But, um, you know, it just didn't work out with him this year. You know, different uh, coach, different system. He just never looked like he was um, the same person as he was last year. So, um, you know, I wish them both the best. I, I have a feeling Gusev is going to play well with the Panthers. So, um you know, hopefully he can crack that lineup and they could he can play well for them. They have a good team this year and they have a good shot. So, um, you know, um, talking about um, other things that happened today, the New Jersey Devils traded Dmitry Kulikov to the Edmonton Oilers for a conditional fourth-round pick in the 2022 draft. It becomes a third-round pick if Edmonton wins a playoff round. Um, the Devils, yesterday, they traded a, um, a conditional... Third round pick in the 2021 draft to the Capitals for defenseman Jonas Siegenthaler. And, um, you know, with Jonas Siegenthaler, I knew of him, but I never really knew his... I never zoned, zeroed in on the way he plays the game. So I looked up a bunch of different, um, you know, scouting uh, scouting uh, things on him. And, um, you know, I want to talk about it with you guys and girls in case, you know, you don't know what he's... Uh, what we're in for with him. So um, he's most notably a defensive shutdown defenseman. He's very effective at shot blocking, works well on the penalty kill, which it was a dire need for this team this year. Our penalty kill was atrocious, cost us a lot of games. Um, he's very responsible. Um, he doesn't make a lot of mistakes. Uh, he's a stay-at-home defenseman. Uh, don't expect big offensive output. He goes, he, he, he has a good first safe pass. Um, not most notably known as a puck moving defenseman, but he makes a smart first pass out of the out of his own zone. Um, he owns the defensive zone. He's got strong defensive play. He's got an active stick, strong positioning. Uses size to prevent uh, scoring on rebounds. He's got a good combination of skating and size. Not easy to knock off the puck. Hard to beat in corner battles and shuts forwards down uh, along the boards. Um, his strengths are his defense, his size, his frame, his positioning, uh, his, his physical maturity, and his own zone game. And his weaknesses are his shot power, his quickness, uh, his acceleration, and his offensive zone game. So, um, yeah, he's a defensive defenseman. And um, Fitzgerald did stress that he wanted to improve the defense on this team going into the next year. It's definitely priority number one. Um, he felt that we lost a lot of these games because of our poor defensive play. And he wanted to add that element to uh, make sure that we're a better team next year. So he's already on the path to it. See what else he does in the offseason. So, um, you know, Siegenthaler is 23 years old. He's a left shot defenseman. 
He's got a big frame, 6'3", 210 pounds. He's a 2015 second round pick, 57th overall by the Washington Capitals. In 2021, uh, he played in seven games, zero goals, zero assists, seven points. His NHL totals are 97 games played, two goals, 11 assists, 13 points. So I like this trade. I really do. You're already getting a defenseman who's matured into a system in the NHL. He's played under 100 NHL games. So typically defensemen, you can see what they're going to be at, at maybe like the two to 250 game mark. So um, he's on that path. So I like this. I really do. You know. Just drafting a player in the third round, I think this is a better way to have a defenseman who's already on the path to playing in the NHL a lot quicker than that. So I, I like this trade, I really do. He's a young kid, he's a big kid, he plays the defensive game well, and he's great on the penalty kill and shot blocking, and we need that. Especially if we're not going to get another player like Kulikov. Um, if we're not going to go out and sign him again this year, I felt like he was a really good shot blocker for this team. And we have Siegenthaler, we replace it that way. So... Um, yeah, I like this trade. I really do. I think he's going to be, uh, he's going to benefit in the Devil system, playing a bit more uh, with the Capitals. He didn't play a lot because you know of all of all their defense ahead of him, and they have a lot of defense really pushing up their pipeline as far as their prospects that may go in over him. So this is a perfect opportunity for the Capitals to, you know, they have their own issues going ahead with contracts. So, um, you know, this was a way to kind of move one player out and get a pick for them. So. He'll definitely benefit with the Devils system, being that he'll definitely have a spot to play on this team. So I like this trade. I really do. So comment below, guys and girls. What do you think the Devils, how the Devils did this NHL trade deadline? I know a lot of fans are a little bit bummed. I know they were expecting a bit more. Um, they were expecting Ryan Murray traded. They were expecting other players possibly traded. But, um, you know, it is what it is. Um, a lot of uh, GMs, especially this year, weren't um, given in to uh, the demands of some teams. And, um, you know, they were low-balling teams on offers, and we saw that evident with the Taylor Hall trade. So, um, you know, Fitzy said that he wanted to keep these players around, really keep helping these uh, our young core play out the rest of the year, still keep that competitive fire. Instead of bringing in uh, young defensemen and, you know, having them learn the ropes this late in the year, maybe it would have stunted their, stunted their progression a bit. So, you know, that's, that's definitely a, a, a thing that uh, I can agree with. So... Comment below what you think, the how the Devils did this trade deadline. Thank you all for watching. I really appreciate it. Smash that like button. If you haven't done so, subscribe to the Hockey Skate Down. Join our hockey team. Thank you all so much. Have a great rest of the day. Have a great night. Take it easy. Stay safe.